Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leos. So Leos, uh, topic of the reading is, will they marry you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, you really love this person, you want to marry this person, but you have no clue if they will end up getting married to you or not, and they would marry, to you, marry you or not. This reading will help you know that and have that clarity as well. So I will be adding charms and the read as well. Plus, I will also be uh, adding oracle guidance for you in this reading. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. Will they marry you? Now, I really feel like, you know, your person will have a lot of options to choose from. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, influence of other people as well in their life. But I really feel like, you know, the influence, when I talk about the influence with the cards that I could see, the influence of other people uh, would uh, no longer be applicable if, if uh, the time... Um, like, you know, in initial stages of your connection, yes, the influence of other people would matter. But as you go about, you know, uh, the connection and you continue moving forward, your bond would be stronger than that. So the influence would not be, an, you know, um, the issue there. So if they don't choose you, it would be because of the option that they have. And if they choose you, they would be choosing you with all those options. Uh, and if they choose you with all those options, if the answer comes yes, then this connection will be stronger, beautiful than what you can think of it right now. But let's see, will they marry you? Yes or no? Because I really do see them having options. I really do see them having uh, influence of other people. But by the time they will marry, they will not have the influence of other people. Secondly, like I said earlier, if uh, they choose you out of all those options that they have, then they would definitely value you, love you, or... Uh, and your connection is going to be more stronger than anything else that you can even imagine right now. So let's see uh, what the answer comes out to be. Will they marry you? Yes or no? Will they marry you? Yes or no? Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups. The Star. And the last card is Five of Swords. Under the deck, we do have the strength. Wow. I really feel like, you know, the the chance of the two of you to get married is very, 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 very less. Um, and I really don't think that this connection is going to be like, you know, going very smooth or anything like, you know, um, you will have to go through a lot, you know, being with this person. And uh, you will have to stay very strong to get what you want with this person because... I really feel like you know you will be disappointed the more you have um your expectations from this person the more you will be having uh you know you will have uh, uh, the heartache to deal with because i really feel like you know whoever it is that you're dealing with um uh, um i really i feel like you know with with all these cards here with all these energies um it seems like you know there will be so many things happening in the connection that they would probably leave you for um and they would be like you know kind of uh, moving on with their personal life and stuff like that might happen as well uh but i really see them returning back to you after all that you know drama and after all that like uh you know uh, time apart from each other i really feel like you know the divine has yet to play the role in the connection so they would be returning back to you they would not be yours initially um, maybe because of the influence of other people, maybe third party, maybe, you know, family, maybe whatever. But I really feel like, you know, there will be some sort of disappointment. The love would be still there. Uh, then divine is going to play the part, which is going to be very important, very crucial. And they will be returning back to you. So I really feel like, you know, they will marry you. But after um, having that strong um, hold on their life, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, they might choose somebody else over you. They might move on to another person, be that because of the family pressure, be that because they felt like that that time. But they are going to return back to you because the love that they have for you will be there. Uh, even if they got disappointed in you or the connection and they left you and, you know, you guys ended the connection, you moved on, they moved on. 
there will be some sort of a reconciliation taking place later on. There will be some sort of reconsideration towards this connection that would come from this person's end. So I really feel like, you know, it is not going to be happening for all or everyone out there. It will be for them who are manifesting this. Now, I would really want to mention here one more thing that I can pick up here. Maybe they are not going to leave you for a third party situation, you know. But yes, maybe there will be a lot of hold on their family, uh, of their family on them that time that they did not want to marry you back then. Maybe you will end connection. Maybe they will stay single. You will stay single. And then you are going to come back together. So there is a possibility for that to happen as well. But I really feel like, you know, initial stages of your relationship, this person will be pretty much influenced by the family, by uh, by work, by whatever. But if the time goes on, if, if you stay together for years, I really feel like, you know, they will be having that strong... Um, uh, determination to have you as their as their as their wife or husband and that's where divine is going to play the part if you give up and if they give up too and if they choose to move on I really feel like you know like I said earlier in the very beginning I really feel like you know, it's gonna be a very tough thing and it's not gonna be happening for all of you I really feel like you know for a majority of you this connection will end and probably you would move on they would move on but the chance of the reconciliation would be strong still why because whenever whatever you choose over the uh, other person um, you know, sorry, which uh, whatever your person chooses over you, uh, things will not work out well for them and they are going to reconsider you because maybe they were like, uh, you know, not uh, aware enough or they were not mature enough. Uh, they chose the wrong path or they chose the wrong person and then they're going to be returning back to you. But by the time probably you have, you know, moved on or something like that. So I really feel like, you know, there will be some sort of a re reconnection that is going to happen. Uh, but for those of you, if your person choose not to marry anyone and they choose to stay single, single you choose to stay single yes the two of you will be ending up uh, married together now i really feel like you know again divine part is yet to be played here in the whole connection so you can try manifesting it you can try affirming it you can try visualizing it it there is a strong chance for it to happen but i really feel like you know there will be a time where where things are not going to be like working at all maybe like for months maybe for years and that's when you know you you could manifest it you could want it you could still affirm it and that's where you are going to be chosen by this person as their life partner let's see more cards here i really feel like you know it, it is going to be out of nowhere like you know it is going to be out of nowhere you don't you don't and you won't see it coming but the people or the situations that are going to influence the connection initially uh that thing that people that situation is going to help the two of you to come together so i really feel like you know it's it's going to be a long journey but the chances of you two getting married and them marrying you is going to be strong, but not in 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 a in a, in one year or two year. It's going to be a long you know span of time where the two of you would be like you know going through a lot, and then only you will be getting married to each other. So I really feel like you know, and that too is going to happen for not all of you. Like I said already, there are some kind of like you know uh, some uh, terms and you know some conditions kind of do apply here because I really feel like you know for those of you who are not going to be like wanting this person anymore and you moved on, they moved on, obviously it's not going to work out. For those of you who would still want to manifest this person, they will be able to have that kind of like, you know, um, a time where they, they could, uh, re, you know, wish for the reconciliation and the reconciliation would be given. I really feel like, you know, yes, there will be, uh, they will be returning back to you, but it's not going to be happening initially on the very first go. I really don't see that working out that way. But yes, they will marry you for sure. Uh, let's see some oracle guidance. Let's see what is it that you can do or you can uh, not do to have what you truly desire with this person so they end up getting married to you. What can you do and what can you not do to get this person married to you? Tree wisdom. The street dread will help you navigate uh, through your current situation. Her fruit can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. So spending some time out in the nature is also going to help people. And as you're going to spend some time out in the nature, or um, you know, with with the, with you listening to the music that nature plays, I really feel like you know you'll be able to pick up some insights coming from the divine, some downloads coming from the divine, which is going to help you see the picture clearly for yourself. Now, for some of you, probably you are already in separation, and you're asking that question. And if that reconciliation is going to happen for you or not divine is going to help you know the answers when you spend some time out in the nature try to calm yourself and try to kind of like you know meditate out in the open especially near the trees 
there you will be able to pick up the signs and messages more clearly with, without any clutter in your mind. And that's how you are going to be able to pick up signs and messages to get what you want or what uh, will you be getting what you want or not. Let's see one more card here. Shine from within. Look are only skin deep true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine this is the time for self-acceptance uh, self acceptance, and for revealing your true beauty now i really feel like you know for some of you um you got to shine from within and when we say you got to shine from within it's it's more like you might be having some sort of lack of confidence maybe you're feeling like oh i'm maybe maybe i'm not good enough maybe i'm not like you know why would they come back to me why would they reconcile why would they marry me why would they do this yes maybe you also believe that your person is more good looking or they have other options too but at the same time you have to believe in yourself you have to be confident in yourself you have to believe that you know why not they would marry you you know why not like you know you are the perfect one you are somebody that everybody wants you are somebody who is like charming who is like handsome who is like most good looking person out there so if and when you start loving yourself and accept yourself the way you are and start loving yourself for that um why would not the person want you so it's very important right now for you to stop looking at yourself with a with a very negative vibe to it that probably you would you, you are not like good enough for them that's why they didn't choose you or they won't choose you you have to start being confident in yourself once you start doing that you will see how magically everything else is going to transform as well so i really feel like you know for some of you your lack of confidence and your insecurities could become the block here as well or maybe becoming the block for you so now you have to kind of like you know, get rid of those blocks as well so um to get what you want with your person so let's see what else the chance has to add Okay, I'm going to start with these things so we can get the clarity here. Uh, January could be a significant month for some of you or maybe you are, you know, uh, your person is like, you know, maybe you met this person in, in, in the month of January or something like that. Uh, I crave for you all the time. This person really wants you to know that they crave for you all the time. Um, May could also be a significant month for some of you or as well when it comes to this connection. I like turning you on. This person really likes and enjoy turning you on. You just kill me with your smile. This person really likes your smile as well. And you are mine, all mine. This person really wants you. Uh, you know, and I feel like you know they, they they would want to claim you back. Four of Wands again. I really feel like you know, wow. Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. I really feel like you know there will be some sort of movement coming ahead for majority of you, where you and this person will be coming back together. I really feel like you know for some of you, or maybe for majority of you, you do have that soulmate feeling to this connection. You really believe that this is your soulmate, and uh, uh, you know you you really believe that even you have. Uh, pulled apart but you really have that sense of belonging to each other for for some of you um let's see uh alphabets we do have m t v w x f and y so these could be your name initial name initial of the person that you're dealing with as well and then we do have the fan I really feel like you know, it's time for you to fan your faith, not to fan your fears. You have to kind of like, you know, walk, you make sure that you're not doing something wrong. I really feel like, you know, uh, for some of you, uh, the masculine here in this connection is somebody who has never told you that they love you. Um, you know, you know, if, if you are a masculine, probably you have never expressed your feelings to the uh, to the divine feminine. Uh, I really feel like, you know, the feminine has to have a strong faith around the connection and you have to make sure that you are always thinking the positive thoughts or, you know, you're loving yourself always, because if you are not, I really feel like, you know, you'll be going through a lot of trouble in this connection. Uh, I really feel like, yes, this connection has been going through a lot of ups and downs and probably more downs than ups. But yes, things are still not out of hand or out of control. It's uh, if you really want things to work out, you have to get rid of the sadness or negativity that you are feeling around it. Uh, try to be kind to the people around you. Try to be kind and generous to the animals. Try to feed them. Try to feed birds. Try to be strong, brave, happy and thankful. And try to be at peace from within to have what you want quicker. Um, the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. For some of you, your grandparents could be uh you know praying for you uh as well and if they are alive i would suggest you to seek blessings from them they can work like wonders uh wonders for you uh if they are not there with you i feel like you know you can um you still have the blessings coming from your grandmother uh, specifically uh so um uh, you know just stay protected or keep yourself protected or um 
feel yourself protected because there are prayers and blessings of your grandmother or grandparents with you so you have nothing to worry about um so just feel their love feel their blessings coming all the way from heavens and everything uh i love you i really feel like you know this person really wants you to know that they love you there could be some sort of distance between the two of you as well uh you know the physical distance or the um, you know, for some of you, it can be like you are living in a different country, state or something as well. But I really feel like, you know, there's a lot of um, past stuff that needs to be, uh, you know, ended between the two of you. Uh, the connections vibe is really very slow. And I feel like, you know, for majority of you, uh, it is going to be long connection or long journey between the two of you to get to be together forever. Like getting married is not going to be an easy thing for the two of you in this uh, situation. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this will read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, you can definitely check the description box for that. So yeah, till I do the next read for you guys, take care and bye.